Let's welcome in Charles Barkley and let's get right down to business. Anthony Davis traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. What does that do for the balance of power out west and for the Lakers as far as making them contenders for next season? Well, obviously it's the worst kept secret in the history of pro sports. Uh, you knew he was going to go to the Lakers at some point. I think New Orleans did as good as they could do under the circumstances. Uh, listen, uh, you got LeBron, you got AD, you're in the conversation. Uh, I mean, because this thing has just flipped on his head the last week with uh, KD out for next year, uh, Clay out probably for next year also. But listen, um, they're going to have to put some pieces around these guys. I mean, they gave up a lot. Uh, so it's gonna, uh, it makes him a, a, a power player in the West. But I still like Portland. Uh, I like Denver. Uh, the Rockets are going to be right there. So uh, this doesn't make them automatically the favorite. You mentioned a lot of those very talented teams that, you know, showed that they had a lot of championship prowess in the playoffs uh, this postseason. But looking at the Lakers and thinking that they have $32 million in cap space going forward, what do you think is their biggest position of need, or what do you think they need to do to fill out the rest of this roster? Well, they're going to need some shooting. I mean, the Lakers were the worst, I think I, think I saw a stat, they were, I think they were the worst three-point shooting contest uh, team in the league. Uh, but like I say, listen, when you got Kyle Kuzma, uh, LeBron and Anthony Davis, you can find some spare parts. Uh, there's going to be some guys who want to play in L.A., uh, you know, just for the lifestyle. Uh, but like I say, it doesn't make them the prohibitive favorite right off the bat. I don't believe that at all. Hey Chuck, with the guys they have right now, as you look at it, they have their front line if they wanted to in place with LeBron. He can go 3-4. Anthony Davis can go 4-5. Kuzma could go 2-3. So you could go Kuzma, LeBron, Anthony Davis up front, but their backcourt now has a ton of gaps. When you look who's out there, Kemba Walker's out there, Derrick Rose is out there. They could bring back Rajon Rondo. Bledsoe's a free agent. Um, Kyrie is a player's option. What do you like as far as a match there for them? Well, it's clear there's going to be some on the perimeter. They need some guards. I mean, they got no guards as we speak uh, right now. So it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting summer for the NBA. You know, there are so many guys who on TV and radio have been lying for the last six months, saying wherever somebody uh, somebody from their camp told me they're going here, 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 or here. So, been a, so uh, it's been a lot of lying on TV the last, and radio the last six months, Mike, with all these reporters making up stuff. But clearly, the Lakers need some perimeter help in the guard position, uh, a one-two. Um, but like I say, uh, you know, they got this, you know, that doesn't mean they're going to get these guys just because they're out there. I mean, Kemba's in a unique situation. Uh, you know, you got Jimmy Butler out there. Uh, you got Kyrie. I mean, this thing is going to be crazy for the next couple months. Well, we've talked a lot about the Lakers. On the Pelicans side of things, clearly they got younger and it looks like they're going into – the movement of, of youth with Lonzo Ball, Zion Williamson sounds exciting. Brandon Ingram showed some promise this year. How do you like the pieces that they got back, particularly those uh, those draft picks, including the fourth pick in this draft? Well, I think it's as good as they could do. I mean, I think those guys are going to play well with Zion. I'd, I'd use that fourth pick. Uh, like, Listen, uh, I might probably trade uh, Drew Holiday because like, he's an older guy. And we're clearly building for the future. He's a, a very good player, uh, Drew Holiday is. Uh, but, you know, you, you're clearly going with a youth movement. And, you know, one guy nobody is talking about is DeAndre Hunter from Virginia. You know, everybody's talking about, uh, I know Zion is, uh, is going to go number one. But after getting a chance to watch this kid play at March Madness multiple times, you know, you think about it. Virginia had the worst upset in college basketball history last year. What was the only thing they added to the team? DeAndre Hunter. And they win the national championship, and he's the most valuable player. So all these teams out there, don't be sleeping on DeAndre Hunter. But, listen, to get back to your original point, David Griffin did the best he could under the circumstances. Uh, I like where they're going. They got a bunch of good young pieces. They're building for the future. So uh, if you're a Pelican fan, you've got to be happy. 
Now, switching back to the Lakers and looking at the, the fact that Chris Haynes reported that uh, Anthony Davis will not uh, sign an extension with the Lakers, as a lot of people anticipated in the original reporting. Does that surprise you a bit that he's not making that long-term commitment to the Lakers as he heads out there? No, because what they're going to they're trying they want to keep that cap space. They go out and, and uh, get another player. I mean, he's going to be their property at the end of the next year. They don't have to sign him to a long-term deal. But see, if they sign him to a long-term deal, they won't have all that cap space. So it's a it's a great business move by the Lakers. Um, they got Anthony Davis on the contract for one year, and now they still got that cap space. So uh, that's strictly a business move. Um, uh, by, by the Lakers, and it's a smart business move. All right, I know we, we got you on, on your first weekend off after the playoffs ended. We appreciate you taking some time spending with us. No problem, man. You guys keep up the great work. Miss y'all. No downtime in the NBA, no offseason. Anthony Davis to the L.A. Lakers. More coming up on Game Time.